The sun's gonna come out, it's gonna warm up because this fight is not over. Yeah. We sent the house, sent, we cut $750 million from government in the past year. Don't let them fool you. And these cuts hurt everyone. We cut the courts, we cut the DA's office, we cut CYFD, we cut everything we could to try to balance the budget, but we can't. And so the House passed two major uh, tax policies. One of them was a half cent across the board, which hurts all of us. One of them was a surtax on those families that make 200,000 or more. And we felt that this was reasonable. My friends in the Senate, on the same day that they killed the, the surtax on rich people, and on the same day they, they killed the sales tax that was only going to last three years, that's fine to be against taxes. That's fine to hold the line if that's what you think. If you're willing to sacrifice the babies that get served by COFD or whatever government does. But on the same day that they cut these reasonable taxes, they then passed a food tax to tax the stuff that we put in our bodies to make us healthy. This is unacceptable. Exactly. They have us thinking, because for the past 20, 30 years, we've heard it on the radio, driving to work or home. We've heard it flipping the channels when we can't take it any longer. We hopefully flip it away. But they have convinced us that I work so hard every day and the government takes my taxes and gives it to the welfare queen. That's the message that we've been hearing for 20, 30 years over and over and over and over in this country. The robber barons of 100 years ago weren't even half as greedy as the upper 2% of this country today. Yeah. Yeah.